Welcome back to my kitchen and today I'm gonna make for you my homemade chicken pot pie recipe. It is the best. All right, let's get this kitchen smelling really good now. First thing I have here is three big giant cloves of garlic. You could probably use four or five small ones. Either way, just take a bunch of garlic and let's dice that up. So I'm gonna use my big pan here to mix everything up in. So I'm gonna add those three big giant cloves of garlic first to the pot. And to that I'm gonna add a half cup of butter or one stick. And then I have this Vidalia onion. So I'm gonna cut that up real quick. Skadoosh. Okay, so we'll add that now. So now we're gonna heat that all up and bring that to a nice brown. Okay, now that's starting to caramelize a bit, so we're gonna add a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, one tablespoon of parsley flakes, and one teaspoon of tarragon flakes. Give that a nice mix. And then I'm gonna add three teaspoons of cornstarch. Just mix that all together really well. Now I'm going to add three cups of chicken broth and one and a half cups of milk and a half a cup of flour. So I'm just going to cook that up and stir that until that thickens up and bring, comes to a nice boil. See how that flour kind of thicken that up? It's coming to a nice light boil, okay? And now I'm gonna add chicken. I cut this up and cubed it. This is just a package of four boneless, skinless chicken breasts that I baked up for about a half an hour at 350 in the oven. So this is about probably about five cups or so worth. Now I have two of these freezer bags of mixed vegetables. Buy whatever you want. This is just the mixed vegetable blend, so I'll dump both of those in there. These two bags are 20 ounces. Okay. So now I'm just going to give that a nice mix and bring that all together. There we go. All mixed up. Now this is enough for either two chicken pot pies for dinner tonight, or you can just cut it in half and put half of it in a freezer bag and freeze it for another time, which is what we usually do. And then the other half we'll make into a chicken pot pie for dinner tonight. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so I just used a ladle and I put about six scoops in here and this is going in our chicken pot pie tonight. And then I just use about six scoops here in a plastic freezer bag. So I'll just zip that up and we'll put that in the freezer for dinner the next time. See you next time. Okay, before I do this next part, I have to explain one thing to you. This is a regular nine inch pie pan and I really insist on using glass and you'll see exactly why after I take it out of the oven. Have you ever had dinner at someone's house and they made, oh, a chicken pot pie or something with the crust and then you cut it open and you take a bite of it and the crust is raw on the bottom? Well, that's disgusting. So the best way to avoid that Use a see-through glass pie pan. That way when you take it out of the oven, you can lift it up and look under it and you can see that it's cooked. And if it's not, you put it back in for 10 more minutes and you take another look at it. And when it's done, then you take it out and serve it to people. And now the pie crust. I prefer the two pie crusts in this Pillsbury pie crust uh, box here. I think they're delicious. They're thick and chewy and delicious. So let's open those up. All right, so one goes on top and one goes on the bottom. So let's open that up and roll that out in the bottom here. There we have it. And now I'll take all of this delicious dinner and we'll pour that into it. There's that. Now I'll take the other one and I'll roll that over the top of it. And there we go. So I pinched the edge around the perimeter and then I vented that. A lot of knife cuts there because it is going to spew out and bubble up around it. So now that brings us to our secret ingredients. Uh, chicken instant bouillon powder. So what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna take pinches of that. I'm gonna sprinkle that all around the crust. And that is gonna be so delicious. When I made a beef pot pie out of leftover pot roast, I used beef bouillon. 
And boy, does this make it like so good. Just about like that. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay, now that's ready to bake. Chicken bouillon makes chicken pot pie just about 10 times better. Okay, now time for the oven, but I recommend putting it on a cookie sheet because when this bubbles over, you don't want to smoke up the house from it hitting the bottom of the oven. So get the drippings on here instead of the oven so you don't have to clean that up. And then this is a pie crust shield. So you got to use that and put that right over the top like this so the heat doesn't directly burn the perimeter of the delicious crust. So it'll be way better if you use the pie shield. So we'll put that in the oven for 45 minutes at 425. All right, that's been 45 minutes at 425 degrees. So you can see, this is why I like baking this on a cookie sheet. See the drips? They're all, it's dripping just on the cookie sheet and not on the bottom of the oven. And then this pie ring, look at how it saved my perimeter here and like it didn't burn it. So we'll take that off. That's really nice. Yeah, and now I want you to see Let's check it, see if it's done on the bottom. So we need to lift that up and look at the bottom. And see that it is perfectly cooked all the way through. That's why I like a clear glass pie pan so I can see that the crust is done on the bottom. So now I'm just gonna let this sit for like 20 minutes or so and chill out now before we break into it. Cause it'll thicken up and it's too hot to eat right now. So. We'll come back in about 20 minutes for dinner. All right, I let that cool off for a little bit, so now it's appropriate temperature to serve. So let's cut a piece. The other must-have thing that you need is you need this pie spatula. It's in the shape of a piece of pie. So it's good for pies, it's good for pot pies, it's good for everything like that. Look at that. We'll serve this up and do a taste test. Time for the taste test. And this is delicious. Now it's my turn. Mm. This is so good. You definitely have to have that chicken bouillon on top. It's so good. Here goes. Best homemade chicken pot pie ever. It is awesome. I've tried a lot of chicken pot pies over the years. And this is the recipe that I've kind of messed around with to make it just perfect. Anyway, you want a quick, easy dinner? and one in the freezer for later, you have to try this. Thanks for watching. Twin Cities Adventures, out.